Okay, we're just going to do a preliminary test here, which I've already done. Um, this is our new magnetic motor here, just with one coil, and we're only going to be running uh, two wires here, two of the 72 circuits that will drive this, or two of the 72 strands. Now we've only got 24 strands on here right now. Finalize the coil here and we're just getting the dimensions for the outer case and uh, so this is pretty much what the coil is going to look like. We'll flip it over and look at it in a bit. We want to bring that gap in a little bit closer so that we um, have more torque but right now you can see the gap is still pretty significant. Um, we want to get it pretty close to the rotor there because we already have a gap between the magnets here and uh, and the edge of the rotor so we don't want to make that gap too big but we don't want to make it too close either so this is 18 gauge wire here and we can go up to thicker wire um, if we use bigger devices maybe uh, right now we're going to run it at 36 volts um, and I'm only going to charge 12 volts here uh, just for demonstration's sake, so I can put 36 volts of batteries on there, but uh, I don't really have the time here. So these ba this battery is pretty charged. I have in danger of blowing it out when I run it here. Yeah, see it's at 13 volts already. You'll see this thing charge up pretty fast. So we're looking at driving it with one transistor here, and then we'll add the second one. You'll see the difference. There's the amp meter, and uh, I just have a 10 ohm resistor uh, being shared by both circuits here. You can see there's the trigger wire being shared with this trigger wire going across that little bus there. So there's the extra wire going to the collector. We'll add that in a minute. But you'll be able to see this. So right now, I mean, we could go, and you know, we're starting it off. It's drawing two amps, but if I go and add this, You can see, of course, I don't have it on a solid platform here, but um, if I was to bypass this altogether, then it would push it a lot harder. But these transistors don't want to be pushed that hard. So, again, motor. So this is only a fraction of the power, only one side of the circuit. So we're almost up to 10 amps here. Of course some of this wire is not going to hold out for 10 amps. I better turn it off here. It's getting quite fast. I should do the RPM. You can see the wires are being fried there. <laughs> I don't want to push it too hard. One of these wires is just melting here. Yeah, this little wire. Of course, they're not meant to go 10 amps. But the point is, this thing really flies. So what will happen, what will be the difference between running this circuit, which is the old circuit, um, which uh, is the SG circuit. What we'll do is run opto switches here. And so you can see there's two sets of timing here. Um, in fact, there's actually three optos on there, four actually. So what happens is um, there's going to be a lot more on time and we can, with the speed control, we can vary this by turning it on and off in the on time. So there's two sets of timing here 
um, well actually four sets of timing if I want to add two more coils in there and that will give us the ability to have 100% on time and then break that up into pulses so that we can have a beneficial um, charging of the batteries or running other things. So you can see the charging battery has gone up 13, 13, 24. So you can see how quickly it climbs because it's of course 12 volt battery and it's already charged. So it's not really the demonstration I want to show here. I just really wanted to show it all running with the final coil set. And we can take a look at that a little bit here without me trying to short wires. So again, these are just stainless steel braces here so that we can mount the coil for now and get the right measurements to make the outer case here. And uh, that's what we're determining right now to get all the final details figured out. But you can see the size of the coils. Uh, we're looking at two inch, almost two inch uh, diameter coils here and we're going to mount them very securely because if we're going to push this thing at higher voltages and higher amperages it needs to be very secure um, so there's just a few more things left to do here on this system but it's coming along just as I expected there again is the input battery and we could run it as 12 volts here instead. Let's do that. Let's take this. This one goes. We'll just go over. So we're at 12 volts here instead. 1280. So now we can run this again. It might not push it as hard. See again. So again, this is going to be um, quite a bit more powerful because we'll be using all the strands of three different coils and uh, higher voltage to run this. So you can see it's still charging the battery 12 volts in 12 volts out, or 12 volt battery, powering it at right now it's 4 amps input, and then we're charging this battery up as well. So again, take that off, it's 2 amps. See, it wants to have some resistance there, but as we increase more circuits, the trigger resistance changes. At least with this, we're running a trigger wire right now to fire it instead of the optos, and that will be totally different then. So this should be ready by the end of the month.